Let's see. Uh, 14. Uh, any... With that, uh, this is the pool, yes? Mm -hmm. I haven't had my miscellaneous bonus to it, so 15. Oh, that that is good enough, then. You are aware, don't fall in this pool. Falling in this pool, bad idea. Do not fall into the pool. Any creature do I who know falls what it'll in... do? Yes, I just need to quickly find it, because my notepad is not as organized as it should be. I'm, I'm totally going to jump in. Uh, let's see. Oh, la, 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 la. Where the fuck did I root this down? Because I definitely did. Ah, here it goes. Falling in is very bad. Being completely submerged in this in a liquid deals 44 negative energy damage of rend. Okay, avoid pool. I'ma drink it. No. But I'm Thanks. thirsty. You literally he wants to kill himself, let him. I'll be yeah, fine. Pee flower. Anyway. Alright, it's the mesutated vestiges term. Okay, it's taking its free taint action. Hi, Silas. Mm -hmm. it, it's As an ooze spawns up next to you. Disgusting. Go away. Uh, I need to quickly pull up. What ooze was this again? Uh, okay, it's in the shoe of ass. <laughs> Guess what this turn is? <laughs> Dead last. Never. Oh, yeah. That's you time to... for you. Actually, you don't really have time. Anyway, that was its free action. Mm. Doesn't have range to hit with its breath. It's just gonna take another action to. All right, train so ten. I'll oh, stay there. Twenty. Say free. Oh no! Please come right up to Wolf. No, I want him to stay there so he gets the the light, uh, cold weakness. And it'll end this turn. That would provoke. There. It does provoke from Wolf. Is it still in your area? And Isn't it just when you leave? Or it, 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 it also or provokes e. from Prismality, because Prismality has a reach weapon. A reach. I've been watching too much 5e, so I keep thinking, um, forgetting whether it's like it's, staying it's in. The, it's the awkward thing in that technically it did leave a square within Wolf's reach. Because it, it's, it's not... Another square within Wolf's reach. Yeah, it's not leaving his total um, yeah. reach that, that triggers it. It's literally moving from one square to another within his reach. You know, like I said, it's been watching too much 5e. Take your attack of opportunity, as it will let you. Just out of curiosity, no. so Prismology's attack number 14. That missed. Okay. Because that would have mattered. Uh, if it matters... I got stamina. I can go up to 15. Do we... Uh, I'm not sure if 15 is gonna hit, though. I mean, it is large size, but, like, this thing probably has some Pretty it, good natural armor. It'll have natural armor and it'll probably have dex. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna let the twelve miss. Mm -hmm. Plus it had like magic shimmery stuff going on. Pretty ignore sure that hits. That will hit. Yeah, ignore the fire damage. The hammer isn't ignited right now. Okay. Dang it. It roars out. I need to quickly note. It took a bludgeoning, so it's resistant to bludgeoning. Uh, I will use. I really wish I just had numbers on this thing. Use that. Hit it with piercing. If you have it. That's end of its turn, Ash. So, it, it took fire damage no. a little bit ago. No, didn't it didn't. It? What? Fortunately, uh, uh, it's fire damage at the end of the turn, if the end of the turn within the Burning Sands. Uh, and Wolf's well, Boomhammer is not ignited yet. Well then, I guess all I'm going to attempt to do is this. I'm going to cast River Whip. Ooh, okay. And um, I'm going to prepare an attack for when, um, for if Prismality hits him. Because okay. I get three attacks with this fucking thing, and I want that extra damage out of it if I can fucking get it. Um, and using Lillian's um, action uh -huh. takes what kind of action from me? Uh, that was just once per combat, and it's a free. You get to do it once for free. Awesome. I guess, since we know its mental abilities are currently hampered, its will saves might also be lower. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to prevent it from taking a... Um, uh, I could prevent it from taking a swift action, which I feel like this thing probably has decent uses for. Considering it's a fucking boss monster. But 
We're going to go for broke and try to prevent a standard action. DC 16 will. Hell yeah. Okay. Yell at me even next thing because I will forget as I did in that fucking BB fight. <laughs> as Lillian quickly focuses with her chronomancy and suddenly this thing is locked in time. Uh, that was all and yet. Since this is a living creature and it is currently within 10 feet of me, Bluebell is going to attempt to spray it. Okay. Goddamn, Bluebell, you disappoint me again. <laughs> Quite literally. And that's my turn. Wolf. Oh. This should be fun. Why can't? Wolf is going to go ahead and enter into a blood rage. Uh -huh. Not be a massive surprise to anyone. Uh, which also has that one wonderful effect because I've got the extra bit of uh, bonuses from Silas. My con has now reached 24. Ah. And now time for me to pull out a little something special. As Wolf is going to essentially drop, just kind of just, well, basically just kind of reattach the hammer to his back. Being completely unarmed, as he's going to reach, he's going to go forward and punch this thing. And while doing so, suddenly unravel from his bot, unravel from his arm, and almost over the top of it, form like this wooden bracer of spiked wood, and stab into it. I am using my kineticist annihilation wood blast to melee attack it with my kinetic blast okay. for piercing damage. Nice. I can change the damage type every turn. <laughs> I've never used this ability like this before. So it'll be fun. Stir right. buys a great axe. Has yeah, I really challenge I ability anyway. I didn't really need the axe, but Wolf didn't think about that. Um, also, my damage is based on my con, which has now reached 24. Damn. How the fuck do you have 24 con? Because my thing gives him plus one to all those morale and bonuses. Raging, which is plus four. Ironstone, which is plus two. I hate you so much. That's definitely a hit. It takes 50% more damage. Uh, which would be six. Yep. Yes. Okay. The creature has passed the threshold. Uh, give me a second. I'm just stealing a piece of a point of tank from it. Ooh, okay. You don't feel any effects from the taint yet. Uh, let's see, it gains another mutation slot. What does it get? Ooh, defensibility. Oh, okay. By the rules, it is this place to the nearest tile that fits. You big. Hmm. So I end up I... over the punching this thing and go flying and getting bigger. I don't see how it being bigger is making its defensive. Winky face. It's not only that, but anyway. Uh, also, it's now moving into the piercing resistance. Yes, which means Maybe. do slashing. Because Wolf decided does. I've made I made a thing to the right. Mm -hmm. uh, Wolf, uh, okay. Wolf, you're punching him in the wrong direction. Punch him smaller. Punch him smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Punch him into the fire. I wanted I, my I, fire to do something. I don't know what's happening. I never punched someone. They got bigger before. Wolf says you're currently covered in vines and wood. Okay, is that your turn? Yes, the wolf is very confused. Mid. Prismaldi. Uh, uh, Prismaldi is going to attempt to slash it with a burning glaive. That was pretty good. Are you adding anything onto that at all? Because uh, I'm technically supposed to ask before any chicks considering stamina and other shit. Also, are you keeping in mind that Prismildi would also have Bless that's been buffed to plus two? Yes, that is calculated okay. now. Uh, no, we're going to go with the 18. Unfortunately, the thing's thick flesh. The blade just bounces off. Fuck. Ah, the... so he reached huge size by pure skin mass. He is very chunky. Oh, God. Probably slowed him down a lot, though. Sure. Oh, yeah. Anything else from Priz? Not really, no. Okay. Marie. Uh, let's see. Does she want to attempt to cleanse the book considering the thing's really been done to it yet? Or does she want to actually use one of her other abilities? Can, she can, can deal fire can, damage. To yeah, can, can she do a bit of fire damage to him, please? Unfortunately, no. That, she doesn't have any really fire. That would really lovely chain. Does like, she have any way of flinging together. the ooze away? 
from it? Mm, actually. Oh, right, fuck, I forgot. Where's both tricks? Nope. Yeah, okay, well, it doesn't have a token that's yeah. attached to that. Didn't a third Second. person come with us as well? Elias yep, is technically here. Yeah. Can he set Aaron, it on fire? I mean, if Aaron wants to either detach him or choose to use him on her turn, she can. Uh, let's see Work where I can see. Storm. Alternatively, he, there's always his assassinate ability, but you know, if you fail to assassinate a creature, it will fuck him up. Right, both tricks where fuck are you? And I don't think this thing is going to be easy to assassinate. Yeah. Tiny hint, don't fucking try assassinate it. <laughs> let's see what the last little get eat shit. Tricks, there you go. As Marie will channel, uh, this will technically work. She's going to cast protection from evil and deliver it for her familiar. Yay. As she will reveal effects which combat evil, such as smite evil, uh, protection from evil, and all that good jazz can potentially remove corruption. Interesting. Please make a will save. That unfortunately, succeeds. Marie pulls something off of her body and zoop, Belvatrix returns. Goodbye, many consumable items that Marie buys. Hey, boss. I will <sighs> warn you, you are currently within its range. Your I know, range. I guessed I would be. Uh, I really wanted it to be hit with fire before now. No, there's not a whole, whole lot I can do to fix that. Um, five foot step. Am I still within its reach? Uh, let's see. No. Good. I am going to spend a move action and discard one of my first level source of spell slots. Oh, time for me to get another template. Yep. Uh, it, it's only a five foot radius this time. Um, because it's only a first level. Oh, that but, thing I already know. It's yeah. Big square. So basically. Ippos holds out his Axion, and a whole bunch of little glowy light ball things flow out of it and start spinning around the whatever the hell mast thing that is. In, Where do you want it? It's in quite a tight formation. Um, I'm not expecting him to like overrun us or anything, so I'll, I'll just sort of slap it right on his face, right in the middle. You can do it like that. Oh. oh. I thought that was a 10, yes, because that's a 10 foot square, but a 5 foot radius, right, yes. Yeah, because um, technically you can put it in the middle, in a quarter, and it'll reach, that will hit four tiles, basically. Yeah. Um, 5 foot radius is always bigger than everyone thinks. Shift it over to the right once, just in case Wolf needs to go straight up for some reason. Yeah, like that. Ooh, that moved everything. Remember our combat corridors, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so that was the move action, and then, what do you guys think? Aggressive Thundercloud? I'm thinking Aggressive Thundercloud. Why not? Sure. Yes. I'm going to cast Aggressive Thundercloud again, straight on his face. Just pomp straight on see. there. Um, before you roll your save, I believe I need to declare if I'm using any electric -y staff yes, juice Yes, if you're using it. anything from your action. Uh, was there a limit on... No, there wasn't a limit on how no. much I could dump into that. Just so you have a maximum of 10 charges in it. Yeah, it's just the awkward thing with Aggressive Thundercloud is if he succeeds the, fa the save, it negates all damage. Yep. Which sucks if I pump everything into it. Yep. So I'll, I'll, I'll slap like 3 points into it, just in case. Okay then. 3d6 plus 6 for you, I believe that is. Something like that with everything put together. Yeah, because you get one per dice rolled and then three from the action. Uh, it saves, unfortunately, but it does not avoid the free damage it takes from having <sighs> the spark fairies. I fucking hate that oh. so much. Yeah, basically, why... the thundercloud appears, shoots out its lightning, and while it dodges like all the main lightning bolts, you see s some of the bolts sort of hit the, the motes of light, and then it arcs between all of them. And there's no way it can avoid that. <laughs> the fairies dance upon its skin, singeing it. The cloud is now there, though, thankfully. I'll just give you control. The, the cloud was on. Tender. As this room is quickly oh, becoming filled with AoEs. Okay, I believe that is all for you. 
I don't think I have any swift action, so probably. Aaron. Uh, Rusty's going to make a charge attack on the chain here. Okay. I know the chain's all bit of a bum. Oh, I was going to ask as well, um, how deep do these chains go? Because that top one's now in a foot of shifting loose sand. They're technically just affixed to the floor, but unfortunately 1d4 fire damage is not enough to do anything. Well, it's, it's the not the damage that I'm concerned about. It's the fact that it's now loose sand. It's not anchored in solid rock anymore. Depending on how much force that book is uh, is exerting, it could literally just pull it from the ground now. Mm. It's not like the ground's turned into hot sand to spread over it. Yeah. yeah. It's, magic's weird in that. It, technically, yes, it says it, that the sand is spread over it, but it's a foot of sand over a 20-foot radius. You know, Where did that I mean, sand come sand. from? Magic. <laughs> The go for remember, it. that is, remember that it's conjuration magic, right? I think so. Um, yeah. It's conjuration, creation, yes, it is. fire from fire. You're literally taking sand out of magic. It, it's weird. Also, you have a stack of taint. Yeah, go for it, side then. Add two to this. Fifteen. That'll hit. Or you try to do a break check. Oh wait, no, it's a melee uh, I got you. Yeah, I'm just a melee attack. I mean, if you prefer, I can do a CMB to break. I mean, you can either do a strength check to break it, or you can attempt to attack and sunder it. I'd recommend the attack. Yeah. So, Rusty's going to go chomp. Bunch, bunch, motherfucker. It's going to be nine damage. And, <laughs> and because of Aaron's uh, little gadget you wrapped on there. Uh-huh. Three additional, and that goes through DR. The D six does, or does it over damage? Uh, I don't recall. Hold on, this is important. Da, da, da. You were a scavenger. This is Dre Rig, yes. Yeah. A tree. I don't remember. <laughs> well, Aaron is. Just oh, you can do damage. To, I see. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah. Doesn't say anything about ignoring hardness. Oh, okay. I don't know where I got that from. It might be a different thing. But uh, despite the decent amount of damage you did, 12, uh, Rusty, you can tell the way Rusty bites, he hasn't gotten through it. This chain is tanky. Mm. Well, you have a feeling that might be because, you know, magic chain more than anything. All right, fair enough. Well, Aaron's still going to do her thing and uh, okay. going to use her targeted bomb and a mixture on, her, on the far chain from where she's standing. So right there. Okay. Yeah, resistance to lightning, weak to earth, slash acid. Hold them boons. Oh hmm. no! Yeah, that even try to hit a tail. I think. I mean, it's not it? one, so. No, I'm not throwing it to there. I'm throwing it like right next to the book. Oh, you're trying to hit up there. Okay, you're still it, throwing it's up. It's still a nat one. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a miss. Yeah. Your grenade falls into the water where the coiled up tendrils slash out of everything. But it's nothing. God damn Anything it, else not stronger. Aaron? No. You yeah. can go the fuck away, Ooze. Ooze. So it looks Chan. You're getting hugged. Okay, why? Because it's cursed is. Does that hit your AC? Yes, Silas doesn't have that much AC. Rest in peepers. Uh okay, you take Did he six have... bludgeoning damage. Hmm? Did he have protection from evil? No, that is Marie attempting to deliver it to the vestiges oh, last turn. I don't right. think anyone can right. someone. And let's see, how did the engulf work again? I think it's a reflex save. Pathfinder. Okay, hold on. Da, 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 da. Oh, it has to move over. Okay. Where is this part of his tag? Where is the special? Attack? Okay, you're not engulfed. You just take a bunch of slammy damage. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I have to roll yeah, Disgusting. Woo! On the dot, almost. Uh, let's see. Silas it is. Silas, you hear a whispering from somewhere. Mm-hmm. 
It just says, Hope's not lost yet. Keep fighting. Silas, you're gaining. Hold on. What spells does this person have access to? Dun, 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 dun. You gain the benefit of the spell aid. Roll a d8 plus 5. Oh, God. Jesus. You gain That's 13 temporary. temporary hit points. Yep. You just gained an Aaron. Mm hmm. Yeah, it, it doubled my normal HP, so. The mutated vestige seems to react in some way as, it, as that happens. The voice whispers to you, kind of weaker now. I can't do much else. Free me. Give me a second. Da -na -na -na. And yeah. That I wasn't much I... more than just temporary hit points for me because everything else is just less. I mean, yes, but it also saves you from dying. Be grateful, it's bitch. True. Anyway, Silas, it's your turn. Unfortunately, your ready to action did not go off. No, it did not, sadly. So, five foot step. And, okay, I need to get rid of that ooze. In some way. What can I do? I guess I can try and mage hand it to do things. Kind of things. I'm not going to do with a dirty trick again. But I was actually useful against a ooze. Yep. Hmm. And you can always attempt to make knowledge checks against it. Yeah, I'm gonna, at the very least, yeah, knowledge. Actually, I can't, because oozes are dungeoneering, are they not? Yeah. Yeah, Silas doesn't have dungeoneering. Okay, mind you can always, even if you can't do that, very knowledge checks still to be made against the mutated vestige. Yeah, which I'm going to, uh, I did planes last time. No, I did uh, against the You did pool. that against the pool. Yeah. I'm gonna make a religion check against the pool. Maybe. Okay. Because that should give me different different knowledge. 17? You can indeed confirm that the pool is separate from the book and its energy source. As you kind of look at it, yeah, the vestige is drawing power from this pool. You think if you were somehow to break the pool, you would at least deprive the vestige of some of its power. However, you might manage to go about that, you're not quite sure as it's quite literally a large body of water. Large body of water, hmm. you say? Yeah, large body of water. Only I had some... Only I had some magical bullshit that reacts with water. You have that magical bullshit. I have the potential magical water bullshit. But, uh... For now, I guess I can't really do much else other than the range on spells. And the mint. It is. But I'm wondering what the range on this spell is. It is close range. That's not good. That's 25 feet. Oh dear. Mine says it's 30. Well, this is for a different spell casting class that I only have one level. Oh, in. right. Yeah. He's a baby mesmerize. Mm hmm. Can't frighten the big guy. I guess I'll just try and, like... Hmm. I'll try and just, like, uh, dirty trick the ooze nearby to entangle it. Okay. Entangle? As you, I guess, do your patented Silas uh, fucking whisk? Yeah. Yeah, basically. Give me Oop. that CMD. Uh, thankfully, it is... Oh, wait, actually. No, you have that meat. Oh, good. This is entangled. Na, 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 na. Where's my entangled one? It should be the kaboom. Okay. Anything else from Silas? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think I can do anything with the move action. Unless you want to start sending out Curiosity or June River. I don't think I have anything that June would be good for here either. Fair enough. In which case, mutated vestiges turn. Oh boy. He's going to use his breath weapon in a 15 foot cone. Eep. Wolf, Prismaldi, Ash, give me a reflex save as a, a wave of acid pours over you. Wait. Wait. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm still tell it before the roll happens, so it's fine. Um, okay. As Wolf is going to go ahead and exude out uh, some of his energy, spending a point of his burn, which I'll go uh -huh. do. As he is going to um, almost basically form this like barrier of like 
power of like binds to help try and shield Ash and Prismality melody get, get both landing both of them a plus two bonus on their saving throw. Nice. I will accept my burn penalty. That's fine. I'll tell you now now that both uh turn is real buff. You saved Ash, actually. You're one off. Yay! I guess I need to roll now. <laughs> yes. As if you succeed, you take half of that. If you fail, you take full. God damn. Take uh -huh. four acid That's... damage. No, I don't. Let's see. And oh, I do, however, it's not going to last very long. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it's also going to do this. It uses its taint action to perform gibbering madness as, it scre as all of its masks scream out human pained cries. Everyone needs to make a will save versus fear. Oh, hey, hey, guess what guess we have what? bonuses against? Uh huh. Hope y'all like like bold and confidence. There we go. Save as Wolf, Puss, Ash, Silas, Bridge Spin for Sideline. Ooh. Aaron, you're shaken, and I believe Prismelda, you're also shaken. For, let's see, how many runs was it? D4? Four runs. Oh, weird. Way to go, Aaron, on brand. I'm blessed, but I wasn't going. Five oh, step damn over it, Aaron. Do you even have mine, a mind shield for plus three? <laughs> on top of having, yeah, unfortunately, all that does not save a one and a minus yeah. two. Nightly on fear rolls. Yeah, Ash. plus it doesn't help. Ash, being where you are, you hear the sound of footsteps coming from the south. We have people coming behind us. Because you did not actually clear anything else out of the complex. And my main action has to be to prepare for... Uh, I suppose I got a minute. Do I have anything that could... It's currently weak to slashing. I should know. And, uh... It is? Yeah, because... Uh, that, 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 that's, that's, not, that's not the main point of this thing. Okay. I am going to cast... Oh, wait, you know what I just fucking realized? Mm hmm Dubro wasn't supposed to fucking be able to... Fuck, he wasn't supposed to... Okay, take back your damage. I did see. I would forget. Yeah, no, I forgot to. So you saying that entire thing didn't happen? I've been... So I've been... Because I've been more focused on other things. But, okay. uh... I'll take away my burn as well, then. Did he still get the scream off? Yes. Because that's a special action. For as long as he has taint. Speaking of screaming, I'm going to scream back at him. Okay. Ooh, unfortunately, I think you picked his best save. I mean, yeah. But it's also... <laughs> you still take half. Mm -hmm. Real me damage. Uh, no, no, not 2s6, 2d6. <laughs> He takes one damage. <laughs> he cries for every pain is too much. Pat pat. <laughs> is Ash going to do anything else? Um. What's the opposite of Sonic? Uh, Force and Sonic don't apply for resistances. So it's not the last thing he took was electricity. Yes. I guess I'm going to move here, because I'm still within 15 feet for a reach weapon, right? Yeah, but you are technically moving within his reach. He's huge. Oh, well then, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. You can step backwards if you want to do this. Cha-cha real smooth. Yeah, but I gotta... I'm just gonna fucking five-foot step, I guess, this way. I'll do it. I do have to mention you were... If if you were provoking for moving, you were within his reach for the spell. That's also true. Eh, son of a bitch. Who he didn't this is know why at the I time. do not like fighting big things. That's more of Max thing. I should have remembered, though, he gets an opportunity for that. Yeah, fair. You get that one for free. You can have your one damage. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Don't say I'm not generous. You're not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, both. Turn again. Looking yes. at slashing. I'll go ahead and spend another point of rage to maintain not all of my rage. <laughs> there we go. Bye. 
Wolf suddenly very tired. And then I will go ahead and um, attack this thing with as Wolf, as Wolf will go ahead and essentially just lash out with large, sharp, um, well, basically large, sharp razor blades of a, of leaves. Yes, leaves. Well, um, razor leaf. Pretty much. Super effective. I will also go ahead and spend uh, three points of stamina on damage. Okay. So let me equate that now. I'll do that before I roll. Hot damn. Oh, right, you've already included your... Okay. Yeah, the extra damage. <laughs> oh, so happy. 35 damage? Yes. I think That's so. a big Ooh. hit. Okay, it passes two thresholds. Ooh. Okay. Against its long tongue back. Done. Long tongue. And a two was. Ooh. It suddenly grows multiple faces. Her holes completely black. Oh, lovely. Uh, is this supposed to be happening? No, none of this is supposed to be happening. Technically, oh, yes, actually. Answer. It's supposed to be happening. Is it a good thing? No, no, it is not. With only as as Wolf is mildly nervous as he stands here with leaves covering. If his you body. want advice, Aaron's pulling on the chain now too. Don't get hit by the tongue. What will happen? Do you like your blood where it is? Got it. Anything else from Wolf? There's honestly not a lot, not a lot more Wolf can do for the moment. No, I just have to ask. So, for now, the answer is no. Prismality. Uh, Prismality is going to attempt to slash it again. At least he slash miss. Well, uh, unless you're spending... Uh... No, I don't have enough Yeah, I keep forgetting Prismality's... Plus, I have Prism to slash right now anyway, so... You know, not great. It's mostly the fire damage I want. Yeah. Prismelda should have a lot more stamina, because she's a third level Eidolon, right? She has three bab. Yeah, but one con. She has four stamina. That's oh, I'm it. looking at her bar versus two. That'll be a way. Let me just change that. There we go. I believe Prismelda does not have any of her actions. Nope. Still need to stack tanks. She can't do the teleportation. Can you set yeah. this fire now? She couldn't do that before is the issue. She doesn't have any else this fire. No. She doesn't carry around a lot of fire things because most of her tricks involve paper and she doesn't want to burn up like a crisp. Yeah. Earth then? Any acid? She does, but it's a touch spell. So Sacrifice the cat. Get getting close. <laughs> Do your she job. Like she's a cat. She's literally like four different caster classes. She's no tanky. I mean, and I'll know the she took acid splash. Oh, actually, that's true. I keep forgetting cantrips exist. Uh, let's see what cantrips you have upgraded. Like, your element of cantrips to cover three of the four elements, so... Okay, yeah, she does acid splash. She'll give you that. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Not gonna waste any of our arcanist shit on this. Let's set plus two. Minus four, because firing into melee. But touch. But touch. That unfortunately misses. Really? It's this big and still has a good touch? Not that good. I'll tell you now. Uh, it goes, it says, do you want a tank? Did. I really worry. Okay, fine. She has, no offense, but she has a lot better AC than you. I mean, yeah, that's not hard. No more. E plus. <laughs> Nothing stops us being armored. Except his pride. Oh. Destroying things. Wow. Also, also so I'll say probably at the end of this turn we will stop because things will happen. So hopefully Rose can make it. Uh, fuck, you're not going to be here next week, Tender. Nope. Uh, so the week after, maybe. maybe. Yeah. So it's still weak to Earth at the moment, yes? And resistant uh, to lightning because no one's yeah. hit the fucking thing. Yes. Um, I... Uh... I don't suppose Wolf's Punch counted as Earth as well? I don't believe so. It doesn't have any energy damage attached to it. 
he would affinity. So <laughs> if I've been hitting with Kinetic Earth Power, you could justify it, maybe. But... Yeah, but yeah, would not. Well, I'm not going to get any bonus damage. That sucks, but I'll five foot step, so I'm out of its reach again. I shall snowball without converting it to lightning because it's resistant to that. Uh, where have... There we go. Ugh. That'll hit. That's, that's so bad. I'm rolling Marie so bad by one. today. <laughs> it did, takes 12 did, cold damage. Now, did Marie have bless? She did, but that's already factored in. Uh, right. Even the plus two? Yes. Damn it. Minus four because firing into melee hurts a lot. Yeah. Also, her bab is abysmal because she's a lot of multi class. <laughs> you have no bab. <laughs> uh, so, 12 cold damage. Yep. And fortitude to. Wait, which, which snowball are we using? Because one of them uh, has a fort save for staggered and one of them doesn't. I think we, we are using a fort save for Right. Okay, Maybe? ignore. Ignore that then, just just the damage. Uh, that is the right damage, yeah. Uh, and then move action, swing the cloud around. Reflex, please. Yep, I believe, let's see, I had the plus. Mm -hmm. I believe that is on the node. I think it's filled by one of your electric balls in DC 15, because aggressive thunderclouds is level 2. Uh. My sheet has my level 2, DC has 15. Do you have 18 charisma? No, I have 16. Oh. Okay, man, I guess the electric bow thing is wrong. Okay, unfortunately it passes the save for that, but still takes free electricity damage from the lightning fairies and gains the, electricity lightning again. The, the electric ball... Oh, wait, that... Aggressive Thunderclouds evocation? Yeah. In that case, okay. um... That DC should be one higher as well, because I have Spell Focus. Ah, that would explain it. Yeah, isn't it an evocation? In which case, it takes 18 damage. Zap. Boo, no, okay, hold on. Not like that. Okay, I did too long. Right. It's already too long. Uh, oh, right. It passes Wait. a threshold against another mutation. Oops. Where'd you, where'd you get 18 damage from? Uh, 15 because of the thing, and then free because Spark varies. Oh, you haven't rolled damage yet? No, I've not rolled damage. <laughs> <laughs> Let my brain process. Hold on a second. I had to get the game back on. And I just need to work out. Did, did I have a macro for this? At least I did. I did. Thank fuck for that. So plus three damage on that. So it's still oh, it's 18. anyway. <laughs> still 18. Okay. That's threshold against petition. Na, na, na. Oh, good. Just what it needs. The creature becomes wispy and ephemeral. Oh, wonderful. Fuck. As if I didn't have enough problems hitting this thing. You haven't really identified more of it, but if you let this thing accrue mutations, it becomes a monster, which is what it's currently doing. Have you guys considered oh. not letting, letting it do that? Have you tried um, hitting it in a different way? And, and, and free action. Mary, can you please cleanse the book? Sure. Let's see. Seeing as it's just been her turn, I don't think anyone did it last turn. Nope. Well, admittedly, this... Uh, well, I don't think we're ready for that. Well, it's can, just, it's just removing it a point of taint. There's no reason not oh. to. Oh, the book is technically something different. It's just, I guess, easier if every stack of taint the visage loses. But she can still attempt okay. it for free every round as long as someone oh, comes Oh, I, I was reading it, like, backwards. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's see, add your charisma multiplier, add your level, and... I mean, it, it's lost one. Yeah, no. Marie flips open her papercraft tome and starts to read some kind of strange language with very long syllables, but also kind of weirdly guttural sounding, not anything you've ever heard before. The tome in the middle of the pool flaps about, but nothing seems to happen as Marie starts to sweat. Aaron. Maybe if it was fucking closer, Aaron's gonna throw another bomb. This time a little bit away from the, the book, because she's not she has explosives on this one. Okay. So basically like here. Hey, there you go. With the damage that Rusty is already done. 
Uh, no, this is against the back chain. Oh, this chain? Or vet chain? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one here. Thankfully, this counts for your construct bin. This chain will snap. Ooh! Okay, Matt. Roll 20, don't do that, please. Uh, Rusty's gonna finish gnawing on this one. Does he still have the d6 thingy? No. Okay. It doesn't do... Unfortunately, it doesn't manage to get through most of the chain. Wait, really? Yeah. It has a lot of resistance. I'm guessing at least 10 hardness. This is the sort of thing you want shatter for. Anything else? I don't suppose it matters if he's got magical attacks. Not for this, no. Okay. Uh, then, as a uh, move action, since now that one of the chains is broken, it has a little bit of slack. Uh, for moving. Aaron's going to have Rusty back up and try to bring the book closer to Murray. Okay. You're aiding Marie on her next cleanse check, essentially. Yeah, but also getting it closer to the edge while Rusty's chewing on this chain, so once it breaks free, I can just swing it over to Ash. Ooze. Ooh, that hits. Ouch. You're welcome, Silas. Turn two starts. I'll quickly run through the thing that happens, that technically happens at the end of turn. Ash, you hear a voice in your mind. It goes, no, no, too quick, too quick, slow down, slow down. I'm not out yet. What? You need to get, get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. Don't kill it yet. As when we take a visage, is looking pretty hurt. Between all of you, just kind of hitting with spells and both big hit last turn, it's looking down its last legs. Guys? Something's telling me to not kill it yet. So why are you listening to it? To the south, as you can just barely see creatures coming. And this is where we'll stop. Oh boy. I've got to say, I didn't expect you to go straight to the boss fight. To be fair, we didn't have much direction to go anywhere else. Yep, just look at the trough. Yeah, but if there, it was down, I figured there, there'd be more rooms, but... Mm. There was the, um, incubation corridor we didn't go down. Um, incubation domestic wing. Like... And yeah, the, the domestics. Yeah, I didn't feel like I was really... You know, there was a lot of problems with going down those paths. I just and, felt, and hey, this might as well find the problem. book. Like, even though it was eating, you didn't necessarily need to initiate fight with it. Yeah, we, but it was we, getting we could bigger. Have, and... We could have turned around and gone back. We we didn't know we whether could it have. would stay big or it, it was. I mean, as far as I see, we we put our resources smart because we're now full resources fighting the boss. It's fair, but uh, uh, you've kind of already revealed the mechanic of this thing. This thing randomly mutates. It just managed to get the big mutation. It wasn't propped by anything particular. If you sat and watched it a while, you could have uh, also milled for and seen what it gets. But you've went for the interesting route. I hope you're going to be able to manage all the stuff that comes down from above to attempt to reinforce this thing. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, actually, I forget. There's an entrance over here. Turns out, though, Wolf is kind of uh, perfectly set up to do variable damage. Wolf is doing... I keep excellent muting in the... Wolf is doing very good in this fight, looking at Mr. Fucking 35 damage from a single attack. I mean, the thing is, Wolf can change his damage type on the fly, and right, and because Silas has boosted his con by another increment, um, his damage is through the roof. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, I had a plan. You know, swap damage between Prismelody and Ash for all of that sweet adaptable damage bonus, but like... So, so, I, fuck my luck! This, yeah, this why do I ever be... roll attack rolls? I know, I know the hurts. feeling. I... I... Feel quite useless this round as well. He did pretty good. He did a bunch of damage. He stopped it from being able to open up on like four people at the start with his breath. Yeah. Opened, like your different. I, I, I will say, Tinder, at least you did something. I, I'm and just very... disappointed with my whole terrain thing right at the start because that that would have set it up perfectly because that would have done the done the fire damage. Then your whip would have, would have done cold. Priz would have done fire. Then I would have done cold. Then it would have done um, the fire from the radius again and cycle. Yeah. So he rolled too high on initiative and so it got away. This it's also just very fast. This creature doesn't have a lot of weaknesses. 
it, it did it did feel like we had no way of knowing it would be that fucking fast beforehand. Often you don't. That's the thing. Yeah, but you I mean, I mean, so, some things like you look at skeletons and you go, right, that will be fast, or maybe not movement fast, but that will have good initiative, that will have good dex. This couldn't really tell anything from. It is a really weird mutant thing, though. So. The point yeah. of aberrations are hard to yeah. figure out. So, out of curiosity, are we hearing any noises from the north? From the north? No, this no, is currently this... blocked off. Okay. I see like, a little staircase here, so I was just wondering. And door okay. here. Oh, that goes into a house. I'll just reveal that because you can technically see it. 